Hey everybody, this is Thomas over here with the Chicago office, uh, SDR in Chicago. I wanted to show you a demo that I've been working on here um, to show you the value of Kibana and our hosted offering that we provide here. Um, so with the preface of my story, it's uh, I have a, a customer that uh, is looking to centralize their logs and figure out you know, flight data, sales data that they have, web traffic that they have. So I wanted to show the feature set in, in Elastic here. So with that being said, let's begin. Um, so here we are at the landing page when you uh, sign up for cloud.elastic.co. Uh, we go ahead and create a deployment here. So go ahead and spin this up. We can give it a name, haha, -ha. right? And we can go to Google Cloud Platform and select the data center that we would like. Uh, we'll just stick with Iowa since it's right next to us. And you can go down here and you can select different version stacks that we have. We're just gonna stick with the latest and greatest. And also we have dedicated uh, different node types uh, to allow more custom ability for, for customers and um, give them a little bit more flexibility on, on what they would like. So we can change different fault zones and we can enable machine learning if we'd like here. Um, and we can also allocate more RAM to different Kibana instances and we can go ahead and hit create deployment. Um, in the interest of time, while that's creating here, we can go down, show details, and it shows the curation and shows how simple it is to spin up a cluster rather than downloading it and standing it up yourself, allocating heap sizes and everything. So we'll go ahead and uh, let that spin up. In the meantime, while that's spinning up, I created another data set that I already had here. Um, we can go down to my Kibana instance over here. Uh, let's go ahead and let this load up. Um, so with the company, I created uh, four different spaces here to show you a little bit of uh, a different taste of each one. Uh, space is a new addition that we, we rolled out in our open source uh, basic trial license here. So that's something that you can only get with Elastic. Uh, so we can start off with the sales aspect of things here. And I wanted to show you how you can take all your logs and um, really put it together. You know, in the world of, uh, of data, everything is like on demand these days. and uh, Uber, Netflix, food delivery, you name it. Uh, so we kind of made this hosted offering and gives you almost on demand, uh, I guess you would say, uh, log management business insight on demand. So we can go here, we can go to, we'll say this month, right? We can see the transactional data. As you can see, it goes to 166, but say from, it's almost Christmas time for us here in the US and you can go ahead and check to this week. We saw a bunch of transactions that had changed here. 146 out of that 166. So you can tell that there's a, a couple of procrastinators that are sitting around here that are buying things uh, kind of last minute. But uh, I wanted to show you a different feature that we had as well called Canvas. And we Canvas, we have, uh, it's a free form visualization tool and it is new in our new rollout as well as 6.5 um, and what we have here is this so you can see different free forms and it shows you different graphics something better than beyond pie charts and graphs and everything so that's a little insight on that space over there but if you wanted to switch it say you had another team that wanted to track uh, flight data we can go here and i already loaded some data like i said before with our flight dashboard and what i'm trying to do is uh show you how things can link up. So a lot of pain points that customers have is, hey Thomas, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of different systems we have to log into in order to see our logs. And uh, Elastic has kind of built a way to where you can pump all the data sets into the uh, index of Elasticsearch and visualize it here in different pieces. So there's a lot of value that we find that way. Um, over here, we can do such things as filters. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this on. And with this feature set here, we can go ahead and do the autocomplete function, which is pretty nice, equals. We can say day one, and we can update this here. Whoops. We'll do in the last 60 days, sorry about that. And we can see there's about 630 flights here that populated on the first day of the week here. And as we go down, I wanted to show you maybe some insights on data that you wouldn't see from the naked eye. So we can go ahead and refresh this down here too. As you can see, 658, and we'll keep going down. And as you will see here, the number's kind of going down later as the week progresses. 
and you can see it drops to 339 and then so forth and so on. So maybe you can notice, uh, give your flight team uh, a little bit of update that flights kind of de dissipate during as the week progresses here, a little bit more flights during the middle or beginning of the week, um, especially on the weekends as well. So you can see the number just drops down here. Uh, we can scroll down, you can see different Vega visualizations here that shows you where flight patterns are coming in. That's a pretty intuitive tool that you can use and see that where flight data and flight traffic is coming from. And if you look down here, we have a, another chart that shows you, uh, let me go ahead and remove this. Let's see, let's see the last 60 days and we'll clear this query that's here. Move that and let's update this. And we'll go down and then as it refreshes back to the normal 3,451 flights. And over here we can see Italy, the country code. Uh, there's a lot of traffic for the origin country, country and destination country. So Italy has a lot going on in terms of flights here. I could switch over to the web traffic here and say you wanted to pump more data sets into your Elasticsearch cluster. Um, you can go ahead, it turns into the JSON and we can now visualize web, web log traffics. So over here, we can see many different visualizations such as like the Sankey chart that shows uh, proportional flows from one destination to the other. Uh, pretty cool graphic that we have there. And to stick on it, I guess we can stick to Italy here. We can go through and select Italy as the country. And we can see different tags here for the articles of uh, the logs. So you see 50% of them go use iOS logs, so they're on their mobile phones and devices a lot. Um, and then you can see the heat map and what days that people are coming on. And um, so you can set different jobs to show alerts on when, when traffic's low, traffic is high. Um, that's a pretty cool feature that we have as well. In addition to that, I also created another space to say that, hey, if you have somebody who doesn't really understand the, the the realm, I created a management. So you can see all these tools here. What I did was this, let me move this guy here. Let me log out. I created a username as well to lock down a dashboard specifically to that indexy. And so I've named it as newbie one. So we'll let them log in. They're newer in town. You don't want them to mess up some certain data sets. And I gave them only permission to new kid on the block. Do not break anything. I gave them permission into just a dashboard as you can see here. So you can lock down different things. And that is a quick five minute summary on how some of the spaces work in Kibana and how you can take various data sets and load it into Elastic and visualize it amongst different teams. And thank you very much and talk to you later.